All right, so this is another one of those games that's just always copy and paste, and yeah, I'm only we're only watching the like it's not me. It's not me that likes this, and that's why I'm getting this. It is uh, I'm we're watching this because it was a popular trailer, but I'm actually not so much interested in this. But at the same time, let's watch the trailer and see if if it can win me over. Um, have you played one of these in the last hundred years? Or? Uh, no. <laughs> it's been a long time. Seriously, I, I really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, because they all every year that they come out, it's the same as the last one with like a slight yeah. change. So you always wait. I wait like three or four years before buying one, but I always keep one around. Um, uh, this is a first person shooter game. I, I have Titanfall 2 and that's like my first person shooter right now. Um, and that's been out for forever. I'm waiting for Titanfall 3, basically. I'm holding out. I need a hero. <laughs> he's got to be strong, and he's got to be fast, and he's got to be Titanfall 3. Uh, okay, anyway, let's check it out. We are watching the trailer for... The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The Action Pack. Call of Duty. Black Ops 6 launch trailer, PS5 and PS4 games. Uh, coming at us from PlayStation, we are going to like the video as my daughter freaks out in the background. Uh, it's got 93,000 views, 4.8 thousand likes, and 842... <laughs> 842 dislikes. Um... Call of Duty Black Ops 6 launches on October 25th. That is the description. We do not need another description because Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is the same as Call of Duty Black Ops 5 with some slight Three. changes. Three. One second, guys. <laughs> so, anyways. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Great. Glad to hear it. Oh, my. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, my daughter just came in to tell me that her brother's running. Um, <laughs> okay, so we've got, you know, it's been... I th Black Ops 2 was the last one that I played. Because it's just... It's too repetitive. You know, yeah. each one of these is just too repetitive, you know? And, and I want a good campaign, and a lot of these... Now they don't even release them with campaigns anymore. Yep. I don't think, but... Well, yeah, I, um, I would know. And, you know, like the special mode of zombies, when Black Ops 2, it was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I was just kind of hoping that maybe they would think of something else to do other <laughs> than just zombies. Why not dinosaurs Dino or dragons? Dinosaurs, yeah. <laughs> Imagine dragons. Imagine if there was an FPS ver FPS where you had a multiplayer mode where you would go around in open fields and stuff and try to survive to get to some objective or something while also fighting fire-breathing dragons that are flying around <laughs> and trying to kill you. I don't know. Or velociraptors from yeah. Jurassic Park. I don't know. Something more interesting than 10 years of zombies. <laughs> we get it. They're, they're just trying to prepare us for the future. Yeah, exactly. That is our future. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, let's check it out, though. So we got a 1 minute and 10 second trailer. Are you ready? Always ready. Hi, it's Travis with Oscar Mike Radio. Oscar Mike Radio is a military and veterans podcast and show about those who serve our country and those who have served and are doing amazing things. But you know what? Let's take more. Let's take more. And then they had that fantastic... It's managing those logistics and, and getting things where they need to be on time. I mean, come on! <laughs> want to learn more? Want to follow the show? Go to OscarMikeRadio.com or the link below. We're Oscar Mike and we're Mission in Flight. Thank you.
Here we go. The Cold War is over. Good. Okay. My guess is that they're planning a spectacle of some kind. Something that'll scare the hell out of people. Yeah, all right. Oh, this is so. This is a campaign then. Coalition forces launched the operation two weeks ago against Saddam Hussein. They're taking out as many strategic targets from the air as possible. Black Ops hmm. Six in the year 2024. We are going to get that bastard, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> 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 oh, you thought we got him? No, no, we didn't. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, like, wouldn't we think of something else to do? <laughs> like some other guy to take down? I don't know. No, well, there's um, there's nobody right now to worry about. No, maybe fine. No, but I mean, a fictional guy or something like yeah, they yeah, just anything, actually, anything Nate, Saddam Hussein. When did he get executed? Like 40 years ago or something? I don't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, but we've got about forty seconds left. So, I rem I'm sorry. I just I remember Army of Two came out and a guy jumped. You know, one of the bad guys comes down and he goes, "Long live Saddam!" <laughs> and I always thought it was funny because because shortly after Army of Two came out, or you know, I mean, however, however short it was after he came out, however long it was, Saddam Hussein was executed. So every time I would play through that game, I'd be like, he's already dead. Ha <laughs> 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 So, um, anyway, anyway, though, we, we've got about 40 seconds left, so let's oh, continue oh, on here. Here we, here we go. Do it. Do it. It's a biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands, too. Isn't that your friend? Turn it off! Okay. The nature of our enemy is unclear now. We're not alone. They would kill each one of you given the open shot. Okay, there's a tank in an airport. Time we had a chat. All right, well, those definitely are not war crimes. <laughs> See, and this is what I'm saying. Look at what they actually t show you. Oh, well, get this, and it's the Vault Edition, and it's all for zombie mode. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, I mean, these are skins. Maybe this is for just normal, yeah, but it's like skins. Skin. But, like, s Call of Duty and zombie mode yeah. is so synonymous, and I just I just want something yeah. a little more creative. But what's what's <laughs> up? It, it actually looks like a kind of a fun campaign so yeah it might be yeah. pretty good like an interesting story you know what they could do yeah. they could do like a call of duty among us crop like th they could call it something else but having it where you're basically playing among us in a third person per third person yeah. shooter and if you're the alien like you don't you can't just kill people right away you actually have to shoot them to kill them and then um your the other people's companions like they can hear the gunfire going off so then they'll be like ah oh, oh run over there hurry save him and then if he dies it's like who was it you know <laughs> i don't know anyway like if you kill the guy before his a allies come get to him then it jumps to the screen where it's like this person died yeah anyway uh uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not so much interested just because the gameplay's been the same for a long time. Um, there's just, you know, I mean, I was a soldier. I'm a human, normal human guy. I don't have advanced technology or superpowers or genetic mutations. Not yet. Uh, in real life. And that's what this game is. So I want those things in video games. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want the fantasy yeah. elements of video games. Um, but basically, what's happening in this game trailer, I did that for 10 years. Yeah. And it was exactly like this. This is exactly. what my whole military career was. Falling through the sky with floating islands, you know, just <laughs> jumping out of airplanes, zombies attacking, biological weapons. Yeah. It's all, it's, I've done all that. Been there, done it. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, uh, just, yeah, same, same concept, just another... Another, another game of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's check out what the people are saying down below. So here, why do we get launch trailers when a game isn't launching? That's interesting. Yeah, that's a good point. October 25th. 14 days. That's a good point. Yeah. 
Interesting. <laughs> exactly, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I thought launch trailers were for when the game launches. Hope the campaign's not... I like that. <laughs> um, and so I purchased <laughs> Sparking Zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, no! Anyway, <laughs> the fact that people already mastered movement before the game is out is crazy. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, the stupid... Um, face there and then dragon ball z sparking zero <laughs> um can't wait th for this to go on sale for twenty dollars yeah because seriously <laughs> you just wait a little while yeah. um yeah the uh, the timeline in black ops makes absolutely zero sense <laughs> that's what we were just talking about yeah <laughs> yeah well i mean that's people just don't look like they're so impressed pre-ordered the vault edition so excited for the campaign and the zombies why even why we even getting a launch trailer if we still gotta wait through for weeks to go please tell me that you get to play as woods in the in a wheelchair <laughs> <laughs> um there you go people are like why are we even getting this and the so was a few people were saying that it's Okay. Well, early for um, launch time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so nobody really is super excited about it, but it's sixty nine ninety nine, guys. So Jeez. check it out. Um, uh, coming October twenty fifth. If you want the ultimate edition, it's a hundred bucks. Uh, and by the I'll... way, let's. No, I don't want to add it to my cart. I want to continue shopping. I want to. I'll, I'll wait Did for I the just... free, freebie whenever. Uh... PlayStation Plus gives it to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I also wanted to see, what does the Ultimate Edition give you? It doesn't even tell me. Maybe it says here. Because if I could get the vault, if, 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 if it's like a statue or something cool, fine. Oh, no, you pay $100 for a bunch of in-game stuff. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, I remember when you would get something like this for $80. Yeah. Or $100. Yeah. Or even 120. I think I paid like 120 for something. Some of the other stuff I've gotten, and I was happy to because it was just the base game plus this statue. Awesome! I love yeah. the statue. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, this stuff is kind of stupid now. But all right, guys, we are we've we've got two more to go, and we are at one hour and 54 minutes. We get, we're going to be trying to get through these last two, so we're going to move on to the next one. So uh, check this out. Like I said, October 25th. But on to the next one. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.